The title of our project is Standalone Cable Checker. Our team has four technical directors, Nathan Shake, a test engineer, Daniel Harnett, a test engineer, Al Binder, director of test development and product engineer, and Christopher Keeble, senior PCB designer. Our team members consist of three electrical engineers, David Botello, Nicholas Petrosi, and myself, Anthony Cepeda. Founded in 1981 and headquartered in Andover, Massachusetts, Vico Corporation is a global power management company that designs, manufactures, and markets innovative power, modular components, and systems. The company is known for its expertise in power electronics, including modular power components, power distribution systems, and custom power systems. Vicor primarily operates in the power electronics and semiconductor industry, providing solutions for a wide range of applications, including data centers, industrial equipment, telecommunications, and more. Vicor has a reputation for innovation in power management technologies. Their focus includes advanced power architectures and system level solutions to address the challenges of modern power delivery. Our team's project motivation for the standalone cable checker for Vico Corporation stems for the complex testing process currently in place. With Vico testing, a diverse range of ICs using automated test equipment and intricate PCB setups, test engineers often face significant time spent debugging issues at various stages. By introducing a new debugging tool, our project aim was to streamline the standalone cable checker into a finished product, providing technicians and engineers with handy tools to quickly diagnose cable-related issues and ensure continuity within network or systems. Our anticipated best outcome was to create a custom-made PCB that revolutionizes cable testing. This compact yet powerful solution enables testing across multiple cable connections with precision and efficiency. The result is a finished product that facilitates streamlined debugging, minimizes downtime, and promoting standardized testing procedures. With our innovative PCB design, we ensure a robust and reliable cable checker that significantly enhances the speed and accuracy of cable testing, ultimately contributing to the seamless operation of networks and systems. we've achieved our best anticipated outcome. On the left, you'll find the initial iteration of the standalone cable checker completed by last year's capstone team. To the right stands our new and enhanced standalone cable checker completed over the past two semesters by our team. Notice the significant improvements, including a protective casing for the main PCB and introduction removable daughter boards. In the development of the stand standalone cable checker, our team successfully achieved key technical milestones. Optimize PCB layouts using Ultium design to meet the technical requirements for functionality and manufacturability. Source components and boards from JLC PCB to ensure quality during assembly. Develop test code for cable verification and adapt the housing unit to accommodate upgraded functionality seamlessly. Our new testing method promises quick identification of cable faults, saving time and improving productivity. This streamlined approach not only enhances product quality, but also reduces unnecessary expenses associated with prolonged testing processes. Rapid issue pinpointing leads to faster troubleshooting, minimizing downtime and ensuring operational efficiency. Getting to the device itself, I'll be talking about the main board. My technical contributions involved executing the design and assembly of the main PCB board and developing the Arduino code for cable testing operations. Additionally, I played a key role in modifying the housing units by drilling holes as per Anthony's measurements. 
I created the schematic for the main board and soldered all components to it. Utilizing Arduino, I controlled multiplexers and indie multiplexers, enabling selection up to 156 pins. The Arduino sends a signal through the cable, measures voltage after transmission to test continuity, and displays results on the LCD screen upon completion. Additionally, I integrated the main board into the housing unit by selecting the hardware for proper height in the case and ensuring proper fitment of the main board. Next, I will be talking about daughter board side A. My main contributions to this project was the completion of daughter board side A. I also assisted with the code and modifications done to the housing unit, which I'll go into further details on the next slide. The completion of the daughter board required me to design, route, and solder the necessary components to the board. This involved not only the design, but also ensuring that it met our project requirements and standards. Moving on, I also played a role in developing the microprocessor code using the Arduino platform. This required collaboration with the team to ensure that the code was efficient and effective in controlling our hardware components. Lastly, I made the required measurements to modify the housing units. These measurements were important to ensuring that our final product fit the housing unit. Here is our project's block diagram once again. Pay special attention to the highlighted area as it sets the stage for my technical accomplishments made during the spring 2024 semester. I'd like to share my technical contributions to our capstone project. My primary focus this semester was centered towards the completion of the standalone cable checker, specifically my responsibilities were to complete the door to board side B PCB, assist with the development of our code and make modifications to our housing unit. Further elaborating on my technical involvement, I tailored the door to board side B PCB to specific specifications, ensuring that all requirements were met. Following that, I placed an order through JLC PCB ordering all boards required for the standalone cable checker, including the main board completed by Nicholas and the daughter board side A completed by Anthony. Once all components were soldered, followed by continuity testing, I also played a role in implementing our code and facilitating the integration of the daughter board side B PCB into the CAMI Research M2 expansion cable tester case. During this process, I made precise adjustments to the housing unit and included labels bearing essential information for end users. These technical contributions were carried out with care and attention to detail, ensuring the successful completion of our project. Enclosed is a demonstration showcasing our standalone cable checker. In this presentation, we highlight the 34 pin cable test designed to ensure continuity between both daughter board side A and B. The cable utilized in this demonstration has intentionally been tampered with, resulting in the detection of 12 failures. Upon pressing the test button, the LCD screen promptly displays the identified failures, accompanied by a comprehensive list of each pin lacking continuity. Our device incorporates a rotary switch positioned above the test button. This feature enables users to effortlessly select from five distinct modes catering to variant, variant cables, 50 pin, 156 pin, BNC and SMB cables. With each mode offering the same rigorous test, our standalone cable checker guarantees reliable performance across diverse cable types. We would like to express our sincere gratitude for the guidance and support we have received through our capstone project this semester. Our technical directors, expertise and passion were instrumental in our success, and we are truly appreciative of the invaluable experience we have gained. Working with such a dedicated and knowledgeable team at Vicor has been an honor, and we look forward to applying the skills and insights gained in our future endeavors.
Lastly, a thank you to Dr. Sunak and Professor Mike Smith for this opportunity.